Maybe you should say something. Oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, so you both, you just met at the Green Expo. Yeah. Um, can you tell me what you liked about the Green Expo? Okay. It was very educational. If we didn't go in there, we will never know what's happening in the world. Green world. And what's very interesting about that the carts recycle from elephant poo. And it's very exciting. I never would know if I stay home. When I came here, I found out a lot of things that nobody knows. A lot of secrets about the world, about the earth. And I advise everybody tomorrow come back there and see more things. We have 200 boots. And every boot, it's another surprise. I call it a miracle. My name is Janine Sote. And your name is? My name is Sophia. Sophia. Um, okay, if you pass the microphone to Sophia. <laughs> Sophia, <laughs> say whatever comes to your no, head. No, I want to ask Sophia. She came last year. How did you find out about last year? And bring the microphone down. Yeah. Okay. Last year, I find it from the papers. The, I am New Yorker. Uh, this year also was advertised in the New Yorker. Was I, I was very exciting. I saw a lot of things. I saw the movie about the Canada, Prince of uh, Island. I saw the seal. It was about seals. Yeah. Oh. People a lot killed them. We have to do something to, to save them. Because every year a lot they destroy them. A lot destroy them. They kill them. them. Are they killing them for, um, for the meat? Or for, for the, the fur. Uh, for, the for the fur, maybe for the, for the meat. For everything. For everything. Janine, huh? did you see the movie also? No. I came a little bit late. I came 5 o'clock. But they told me about the seals. And I know Brigitte Bardot. Five years ago, she took a trip to Ottawa to fight the uh, uh, to fight the mistreating uh, animals, and she had, she couldn't even walk. She had two walk, uh, she had walkers, and she went on a plane from Paris to fight for their life. Are both of you big animal lovers? I'm um, not only animal. Anything for the justice. I believe in justice. People who are right, fight for the right, should be treated like human beings. And how about you, Sophie? Are you a big animal lover? Oh yeah, I am. I am animal lover. I love a lot dog. Many, many animals. Either I love, uh, you know, birds too. I never will be harm well, the, the animals of the birds. The nature is beautiful. Okay. Let me just say something. All right, let's, let's one, one thing is so wonderful about animals and nature. When you get out of your house, it's a miracle. Everything is around you. The birds, the dogs, the animals, and they're all so lovable and so peaceful, except human beings, too, like animals, destroying the world. That's what my opinion is, because animals will never hurt you. How you like about the bull fight, what they doing to the bull? This is horrible. They throw things on bull. What did he do to them? That they got to throw on him and kill him. When they take artificial bull, let him on a, on a battery, let him run around and let human beings show the macho. They want to show macho against the bull? Leave him alone. Let people leave animals alone. They are beautiful angels sent from God. They making, they complete the world with the nature, right? That's right. And, and my heart is going to them. And I pray to God that finally people wake up and be good to them. Now it's always good people have to fight bad people. This is from history. Innocent people suffering. So an animal, innocent animals suffering. Also people, look at the Somalia, all these people starving. And the pirates looking to get the money out of these people want to help them. What's going on? The evil 
is going very strong. Look, we've got a better president, as far as I'm concerned, in office who's more involved with the environment. Well, because he, he is for the justice. He's not for the oil, like Bush. Bush was defending oil and we the victims of circumstance. That's right, and, the whole, and our whole landscape is... If Bush victim. loves oil, he should move into Iraq and sit and open the White House over there. And let us leave us alone. That's right. Well, he's out now. <laughs> yeah, look at that, how, what the damage he left. He left without any punishment. Nice and quiet, sneaked out. But let's hope that Obama is going to take care of all of us who suffered. He's going to save us. Okay. We'll end on that hopeful note. <laughs> okay, thank He'll you save both. animals and human beings. Okay. Amen. Amen.